The latest former Dilworth staffer sentenced for child sex abuse has been jailed for more than six years. The court was told Robert Wynyard was one of the most prolific offenders in the string of abuses linked to the Auckland Boys School. Kim Baker Wilson reports. Walking into his day in court and a day of justice for his many victims. Robert Wynyard, at the age of 74, you appear for sentence having pleaded guilty to 11 charges covering various forms of indecency committed against eight boys. His offending began in 1980 with a boy, barely a teenager, he asked to stay after class. But it was a subterfuge to get him alone with you. And there'd be seven others. The lasting damage they still endure read out victim by victim. I've contemplated suicide a few times in the past as a result of who I have turned out to be. Depression so crippling I can go days without a meal. Horrific nightmares are a weekly occurrence. I still get very emotional thinking about Dilworth and the sexual abuse that I suffered. I wish I could be proud of myself, but I don't think I ever will. As his court date neared, he offered to pay each of them thousands of dollars. 10k for my crazy life created by him. You shouldn't be able to buy your way, way out of jail. Winyard's the seventh ex-Dilworth worker to be sentenced. This document, obtained by TVNZ, reveals he had even helped gather allegations against one of the school's former chaplains, Peter Taylor. That was 1978. Some of the same boys were later his own targets. I remember his arms around me from behind groping the front of my torso. I was shocked and frightened, especially as similar had happened in the past with Taylor. He is a man who, who vehemently denied the offending until almost the 11th hour. But now his hours are up, as his six years and three months behind bars begins. Kim Baker-Wilson, One News.